So in this video, we're going to find the area of the surface generated by rotating y equals 2 root x about the x-axis from x equals 1 to x equals 4. OK, so y equals 2x to the half. So I'm going to need to differentiate that. dy by dx is equal to x to the minus a half. OK, so the area is going to be equal to 2 pi times by the integral between 1 and 4 of y, so 2x to the half, times by the square root of 1 plus this squared, which is just x to the minus 1, dx. OK, so confronted with this integral, um, First thing you might be rotating through your head is right parts. Probably not a good idea. Um, parts isn't going to get us very far. Um, now, unfortunately, we can't just directly reverse the chain rule because uh, we've got the 1 plus x to the minus 1 inside, but that doesn't differentiate to a multiple of x to the half, so we can't do that. Um, so we're going to have to think about a substitution to use. Now, the substitution that uh, would probably make the most sense is to use u is equal to x to the half. Now, the reason why that might make sense um, is because, essentially, if I write u equals x to the half, then I can write um, x as u squared, and I could write x to the minus 1 as 1 over u squared, and perhaps through everything that I have with the manipulation, I'll be able to get it into a form where I can integrate it more nicely, perhaps using um, reversing the chain rule. So that's probably my only bet at this stage. So I'm going to make a substitution, u is equal to x to the half, and we're going to see where we go from it. Okay, Not guaranteed to work, but best we can do. So, du by dx is equal to 1 half x to the minus a half. OK. Um, and then, uh, rearranging this, we need to get this as dx equals. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. Multiply up by the x to the minus a half. So, by x to the half, rather. So 2x to the half du. OK. Um, and don't forget, x to the half I've got as u, so dx is actually equal to 2u du. Now, I can easily replace that x to the half. Now, the x to the minus 1 that's there, so u squared is equal to x, so u, sorry, u to the minus 2 is equal to x to the minus 1. OK, and I need to replace those limits as well. So when x is 4, u is going to be, well, square root of 4 is 2. And when x is 1, u will be 1. OK, so we've got 2 pi times the integral between 1 and 2 of 2. Well, let's bring that, what have we got? We've got the dx here has got 2u2, so I can bring that 2 out and that 2, so that's 4, and multiply that with a 2 there. So let's have 8 there, so I don't need to worry about any of those multipliers. So we've got the x to the half, which is u, and I'm multiplying it with the u from there, so I'm going to have u squared out the front. And then I've got the square root of 1 plus u to the minus 2. DU. OK, so hopefully that's taken care of all the substitutions and I've now got that form. If you want to take more steps to get from there to there, then please do so. Right, OK, so um, next thing, I can't immediately integrate that either. Uh, so what I'll do is I'm going to put the u squared back in. I'm going to factor it back into that square root. So if in doing that, u squared is the square root of u to the 4. 
So multiplying through by u to the 4, I'm going to get 8 pi times the integral between 1 and 2 of u to the 4 plus u to the 4 times u to the minus 2 is u squared du. And then I can factor out u squared from inside the square root. So I'll have 8 pi times the integral between 1 and 2 of, well, the square root of u squared is just u, times u squared plus 1, du. OK, so I could have just factored in one of those u's, right, and gone straight from there to there. I guess I could have done that. But that's fine. OK, so we're left with this. Now, this is much better for us because u squared plus 1 differentiates to a multiple of u. So we can use reversing the chain rule here. So d by du. I'm going to add 1 to the power of this. So u squared plus 1 uh, to the power of 3 halves differentiates 2. So 2u is the derivative of the inside. Uh, times by 3 halves is 3u, u squared plus 1 to the half. So if that differentiates to that, then that must integrate to a third of that. So we can bring the third out and have 8 thirds pi times by u squared plus 1 to the 3 halves, evaluated between 1 and 2. OK, so 8 thirds pi times by, right, let's see what the calculator can make of this. So I've got 2 going in, so that's going to get me 5. So I've got square root of 5, and then cube that gets us 5 root 5. And then substituting in the 1, I'm going to get 2. So that's uh, root 2 cubed, which is 2 root 2. And so my final answer, and the exact surface area that I needed, was 8 thirds pi times 5 root 5, take away 2 root 2.